Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of 2048 units of VR for Doom 2 in the Ultra Violence Difficulty Playthrough PR Boom Plus. We're doing all levels with a pistol start, and this is map 15, Caligonus Cauldron. Let's begin. Alright, with the pistol in hand, we're just gonna blast all of these hit scanners. Especially enemies like the chain gunners. And while we're doing that, we're just gonna hide around cover. Yeah, this is a cover shooter now. Now, if all of the hit scanner is dead, we can grab the shotgun probably from the dead shotgunner. If we can't grab it, we'll just keep pistoling. As long as the pinkies don't circle in on you, you should be alright. It's kind of hard to tell where the shotgun is because of the self-referring sector here. Same with the uh, submachine guns. Which is quite unfortunate because I actually need that. Right, so once you get the combat shotgun, you should be able to get rid of all the enemies here. And you should have an opportunity to get the submachine gun as well from either chain gunner, as long as you can find where they are. Alright, I got both of them. Good. So now we can go up the stairway, grab another submachine gun and get ready to kill all these enemies. Now going up the stairway, you'll find that there are plenty of enemies who can easily throw projectiles right in your face, and there are lots of enemies that want to snipe you too. Now you can use the pillars as cover still to avoid the worst of their wrath, but sometimes you just have to go in and just dodge from left to right. Some of these barrels, we're gonna blow up. Well, we're actually gonna blow up most of them, but some we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep the last two, if we can. If not, we'll just- it'll, it'll just make the encounter more interesting that we'll deal with later. You can probably hear the encounter already. And of course, I get hit by a projectile, but that's fine, because we're just gonna go up here Grab some shells, grab a medikit, then press this button to lower the red key. Now let's grab this red key. When we do that, there'll be some imps that'll try to ambush you. There'll actually be a lot of them. There's also a lot of souls too, but we're not going to fight them yet. Instead, we're going to go down into here and wake up every single specter in this room. Now here's the strategy I like to do with the specters. I like to get one of them to bite. And when it's trying to bite you, it'll stand still and block all of his buddies from also trying to bite you. Works most of the time. But I think we got them all. Alright, so let's go into the water some more and get some rockets and also get into this area so we can grab the rocket launcher from here. Now we can blow up these chain gunners, also the pain elemental. Hopefully it doesn't throw any stupid lost souls your way. Once that's... Or once the pain elemental's dead, you can go through here, but instead we're just gonna run up into this area so we can grab all this stuff. When you're in this sector, this opens up on a timer. But we are going to have to go up here again. To open it up again. And press the button in the room so we can go into here, grab the berserk and the backpacks, and also press this button and go up here one more time, preferably at a better time. I'm screwing up, but that's fine. We'll have to do the puzzle again. A little timed things. We'll have to go up there again, press this again, and now let's strafe run to get the last secret. Okay. So we actually got the supercharge now, so let's head out, let's break out the rocket launcher and use it against all these jerks. Now, I was like, expecting the imps to gather in a better spot, but that, this is still fine. As you can see. I'll finish the rest off with the rest of my weapons, really. Hell, we can use that berserk we got. And for some reason, these guys are taking more than one hit to kill. Because the RNG really doesn't like me today. Hmm. 
All right, so now we have the red key. There's another place we can go to, which is right here. We can grab all this crap and press this button to lower the blue key. And when we lower that, we are going to have to face all these enemies. There's cacodemons and remnants, and that's not all. There's even more. There's pain elementals. Now, the pain elementals are usually priority number one, but you just don't want them to shoot lost souls in your face, right? So, if you're going to rocket them like I did, you have to be very cautious to make sure they aren't firing at you. Because you know how those rap scoutings are with those lost souls. The Seeker is really following me. Let's just fight this guy. And we're good. Perfect. So now, we can head into this blue door. And grab this backpack and gun some more imps down. And some chain gunners too. There's a button here that I'm not going to press until later. But it's good to keep note of, right? We can use the submachine gun for this area, or you could use the shotgun. Either way, you want to wake up some more enemies and get them into like stuff like barrels. You might deal with some specters too. In a dark area like this, the specters can kind of bamboozle you, but it's not that dark. I think the shotgunners with their dark armor are sometimes harder to see than the specters. Even though they have very fleshy skin, whatever. Here's a super shotgun, the ninja shotgun, the Defender of the Faith. There's a Revenant guarding it, but he's like slim pickings once you grab it. But now we've cleared out this whole area, we can finally go back into here and press this button. Now once we do that, we can just go left, right, left, right, and into this part. To grab the visor so we can actually see and we're gonna do some six strafe running you don't have to sr50 you just have to do regular strafe running and we're gonna press this button once we grab that secret the mega armor and we can just go up here as a result this is also in a timer so you want to get here quick which is why i don't want to go around and grab all the little items hanging around there Anyways, over here are some pain elementals. I'm gonna bully both of them so they get close to this window. Now the reason why I want them to get close to the window is because there's a teleporter right there. And I want to kill them both before they spawn any more jerks. Like that. Okay, so now we've killed them both, we can press this button, it opens up this thing right here, which is actually a symbol for opening something else up in another room. But, we're just gonna head up into this last room right here, so we can grab more rockets and press this button. I'm gonna save this invulnerability, even though right here there will be some arch files. As intimidating as they are in an open area like this there's also pillars you can hide behind sometimes they can get in good spots where they won't be able to zap you as efficiently and depending on where the corpses are this fight can be relatively easy as long as you can hide behind the cover quick enough anyways this room has a pretty intimidating fight just a little bit now the remnants here are sometimes scary and sometimes stupid in a practice run one of them climbed up all the way to, to the top of the stairs and if you didn't kill the pain elementals in that one secret area they would have teleported here so in my practice run these guys were attacking me in combination with the pain elementals, which was pretty uncomfortable. So make sure you kill the pain elementals while they're teleported, or rather, they're not teleported into this room. Do your best to make sure that they don't teleport into this room, and you'll be alright. But even if they do, I think they are around here, and usually they're damaged by the time you get into this area, so doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's grab the plasma gun. There's a arch file here. He's mostly harmless due to these pillars. But of course, you just don't want to be in its line of sight. You should be fine. 
Anyways, there's a little portal here. It's an exit portal, but that's the secret exit. Yeah, it's already exposed to us, but whatever. We're just gonna press this button, then shoot the switch all the way at the end of the hallway. I don't even have bullets for it. So let's shoot with the shotgun, why not? Alright, after that, we can just go into this area. Up the lift. Let's break out the rocket launcher for this lost soul and his friends. And now I can press this button. And we can also go down here to get the secret BFG, or FUG 2048. And here's why I saved the barrel. It's because of this fellow. Now let's get rid of him. A little left and right. The only problem is it's kind of hard to see with your projectile in the way. But there's another cyber demon, of course, but let's make this one easier. Let's just grab the invulnerability, which is also a secret. It's a very simple secret to get. You just run right into the platform and you grab it. And that's also why I kept the barrel intact, so that the cyber demon wouldn't be able to escape. Now once you have all the keys, you can go through the regular exit, but I've already shown you the secret exit, so we're gonna go through that instead, because, you know... Might as well. Alright, and that is Caligonus Cauldron, and... It's definitely harder than the previous map, I'll give you that much. And... It's pretty fun, too. Like, the way the encounters are... Built, are... Uh, pretty nice to do. Especially the one with the cyber demons, where if you blow up the barrels, you'll have to fight them while they're moving around, which is kind of creative and uh, really motivates you to think about the repercussions of your actions when it comes to blowing up barrels. Sometimes you want to blow them up, sometimes if you blow them up, you'll have to deal with worse fights. An interesting idea that could probably be expanded upon in another, like, wad or something. But, yeah, this map, although it is pretty small, that's kind of the whole idea of the Mega Wad. It is pretty, uh, a, l a little harder than the other ones. Especially due to the presence of Cyber Demons. But, we're done with it. And, uh, there's only one thing to do now, and that's to read the intermission text. Upon exiting the cauldron, you find what seems to be a hastily constructed place of worship. The number in the middle might have some kind of religious significance. Then again, maybe not. Alright, so that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we go into the first secret level of 2048 units of VR. Until then, to the loo.